What's up, y'all? So, I'm going to get on here and tell y'all something. Y'all got to be careful who you let stay around you for whatever reasons. Because a lot of people only want you around if it benefits them in some kind of way. You can't never please everybody. So you should never try to please everybody. You know what I'm saying? You got to really just be careful about everything and everyone that you have come around you. People like to play games. They like to play games. They worry about what everybody else is doing instead of what's important. You make a change in your life for the better and they find a way to loophole that. Let me tell y'all what y'all do. Y'all stop letting them stick around. I have reached a point in my life, certain people just can't stick around me no more. They're, they're full of caca. I don't want to cuss on here. They're full of caca. They, they really don't understand what it is in life that they want. You know, they'll say you're entertaining everybody in the world. You're doing this for this reason. You'll be back with this, do that. And really, it's not you. It's them. It's really them. Like, they haven't seen the change in you, so they can't accept that. So, I'm going to tell y'all what y'all do. Accept the change in yourself and don't worry about them. Don't worry about them any longer. Make sure that you're living your best life for you. If somebody's supposed to be in your life, they're supposed to be there. They're, they're supposed to be allowed to apologize to you and say, you know what, I made a mistake. But nine times out of ten, they won't because their ego and their pride are getting away. I'm going to tell you now, I'm not sitting around waiting for nobody else to break me down ever again. We have to look at life and say, why am I worried about what somebody else is doing? So now, because I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried, now I have to just say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I Like, I don't want to never hate a person. So before I hate them, I'll just get away from them. You know what I'm saying? Due to the fact that they're their own worst enemy. Like they always want to be better than everybody else as far as like in their mental capacity. They want to think they're better than everybody else, but they're really tearing people down so they can feel like they've done something great. I'm not letting nobody tear me down. I stand tall on this. I used to be different. And now that I'm living the better life, you still going to get crucified for that. I deleted my Facebook for me. I didn't do it for nobody else. I didn't do it because some, for anything else. I deleted my Facebook because my Facebook was a problem in my life. So before Facebook, I was living the best, my best life. So now that I don't got Facebook, guess what? I'm going to still live my best life. I just had to live it accordingly. So right now, I'm not letting nobody else's egotistical hatred stop me from being coming the next greatest person I can be. And that's it. I'm so fed up with fakeness and, and people who, who, who do one thing and, and then they say one thing and they do another, but they want to chastise you in the process. Man, enough is enough. Those type of people deserve what they get. They deserve what they get. So right now, I'm about to go wash my truck, and then I'm going to get on the highway and head out of town. I'm not finna stop my my weekend because things didn't go according to their plan. Their plan was, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to find a way to make his life miserable. Nah, your plan failed because you just screwed yourself out of a great opportunity. Not me. I'm still good. You know why? Because I know I'm a great man. I know what my plans are in life. And I know I'm not letting somebody who's undecisive about their life uh, dictate mine. So, y'all enjoy y'all's weekend and stay easy, Carter's life.